This is the message many users around the world are getting when they fire up their computer. It looks official, but it's a demand for money from international cyber criminals. Up to 74 countries have been hit, but the UK's National Health Service has had real problems. Essential data has been encrypted, and it's meant cancelled appointments and emergency rooms diverting patients. It's an international attack, and a number of countries and organisations have been affected. Uh, the National Cyber Security Centre is working closely with NHS Digital to ensure that they uh, deal support orga the organisations concerned and that they protect patient safety. If it is a cyber criminal gang, it, the value is not in the $300 ransom, it's in the millions of dollars they'll make on the, black, on the dark web uh, for the actual data. And, and then after that, what they'll do is uh, sell access as a service to that network and um, so other hackers can go in and do the same type of thing. At Spain's biggest telecoms company, Telefónica, which was hit in the attack, workers were sent home. This happened about 10.30 or something like that. The computers turned blue and they said that we should go. In the UK, they're still trying to assess the damage across a large number of agencies. It's different in different organisations, so some it's their telephone systems have been affected and some it's a bit more extensive and it's affected systems that do diagnostics and record imaging, for example. Initial reports suggest the hacking tool was leaked by a group called Shadow Brokers, yeah. which dumped stolen hacking tools from America's National Security Agency online in the last few months. Although patches and fixes have been developed, a number of organisations, including many UK hospitals, have not yet updated their system. Uh, and you can absolutely uh, 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 rely on the fact that the trust will be doing everything it can to A, make sure that patients are safe, B, make sure that they're up and running as quickly as possible, and C, that clearly, as I said, that the impact um, um, is as small as possible. Russia, Japan, Turkey and Vietnam are among the countries that have been impacted. Users face a $300 demand to unlock their data. Many organisations are trying to work out ways to get back to normal without paying the ransom. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.